FPC live stream and podcast yesterday, someone asked a question. I think this question was posted after the live stream ended. So it's on the video comment. The question is, hi Santos, I love your channel. I'm a growing PPC strategist and I learn a lot from you. I So thank you so much, uh, adds to cart. Glad that it's helping you. I feel a certain problem when I target products in Google Shopping for B2B business. And this is the video about, this video is about how can you do Google ad shopping campaigns for B2B products, B2B business. So he says, I don't know how to choose the right audience here. My client sells hospitality industries, corporate products in resorts, hotels and event. And there is a B2B audience available just company employee size. Could you help me with this? I must wait for you. Please, please, please. I hope from you and love. Thank you so much for showing so much of love. <laughs> so I decided to make a video about this because I think this is a very uh, interesting question. Uh, I have personally used B2B, uh, Google Shopping ads for B2B only once, but I'm going to give it a try anyways. I did some research for you and I came across this couple of articles. Uh, so the first article, there is a official Google Merchant Center article, which says best practices for business to business advertising on Google Shopping ads. There is not much here, <laughs> right? Except this uh, unit pricing. You can submit unit pricing and there is nothing beyond that. It says landing pages, make the landing pages clear and stuff. Uh, allow everyone to check out. Not very helpful. Not very helpful for targeting your B2B wholesale audience. So I went a step ahead and I noticed, I, I, I thought, can we use uh, audience segments for uh, defining the B2B audience in shopping ads? And there is another article on uh, Google, uh, which goes into these details, right? So you can use audience segments in shopping campaigns. And here is how you can do. So uh, go to your shopping campaign. For example, um, let me go to a shopping campaign. Campaigns, campaigns here. Uh, so yeah, all campaigns. This is a shopping campaign, by the way. And you can go into the audiences. So on your left here is audience, audiences. And you can uh, see there is this audience here. So edit the audience segments. And use the audience seg segments at the campaign level. So once you go here, you can do two things. You can browse or you can search the audience segments that you are interested in. Uh, had you given me your website ads to cart, I would have, you know, done the research based on your website, but I've, I've I had a couple of clients reach out to me uh, and I have their website. So I'm going to do the research based on their website, not particularly yours. So cable enterprise and uh, cable wholesale, they reached out to me and I'm doing Google ad strategy for them. So this is like, <laughs> Timing couldn't have been better. So look what they do. Cable wholesale is very, very straightforward. They, um, you know, their name only says that, and they have done a very smart branding domain. Cable wholesale, nobody gets it wrong. Even somebody searching for individual product would come to this website and understand that this is a wholesale website. But what? Look what they have done here. They have given a quantitative discount options. So although anybody could technically buy one one of these cables, but for somebody who's interested in B2B wholesale order, they have these quantity pricing discounts. So if let's say if I'm a supplier, I'm looking for these cables in wholesale, I could enter hundred quantities and my pricing could be different. I can, I can order bulk quantity from here. Basically, this is what I'm saying. So this is what you can do on your website to ensure that people who come looking for wholesale deals, they at least see the wholesale deals, right? <laughs> so make sure your product pages, the landing pages are, I mean, shopping ads, product page is the landing page, right? Because your product itself are the ads. Uh, and therefore, if they bring people, uh, if people come clicking on your product ad, they come to your product page, which is the landing page. So make sure you have quantity discount, quantity options available on the product page. That is the prerequisite. I think both of these websites, they do a pretty good job of showing that. So um, if you go here for cable enterprise, you see that they have these pricing uh, quantity options, right? So technically you can buy one, but if you wanted to buy 10 or hundred for that matter, you have pricing pretty neatly done here, but I think they could have done a better job of uh, showing more higher quantity pricing.
but i mean you can you can find the best of this too so this is what you should do on your landing page on your product page now what you can do in this shopping ads itself that will help your uh, product be uh, that will help you attract right audience for your product so a couple of things you can do one is like i was saying you can add the audiences so for example if we were doing it for cable enterprise cable wholesale what i can do is i can search for the audience segment here cable wholesale do i get anything any audience segment um, power and electric supply so i can use this as a in market audience segment correct and this will help me you know at least position my uh, ads towards this audience segment so you know this is what you can do you can keep this in targeting not observation i mean you can start with observation and see if this is helping if if it's helping then switch it to targeting right not very precise uh, targeting but still something better than nothing right so this is one thing you can do you can do another thing which is um, you can add keywords in your product title okay so you can add keywords in the product title itself and that will help you attract those people who are searching for uh, you know wholesale deals on cables and stuff so what you can do is you can go to uh, tools keyword planner right and on keyword planner for example let's say we are taking the example of cable wholesale because this is the more legit example right so first of all i'm going to start my research with cable wholesale and see if there are people searching for wholesale or not so what you can do is um, see there is significant search volume for wholesale bulk right uh, bulk wholesale so what you can do is if i was doing it for cable wholesale and this is my product title i would add wholesale or bulk or both here in the product title itself because this is how shopping ads work right it, it matches the audience based on the title of the product and description of the product so i will add those wholesale and bulk keywords in the title and also in the description so that you know your products have a chance to attract those kind of audiences so just to recap you can do three things so far one is you can show this quantity discount on the landing pages product pages you can add audiences audience segments in the campaign on observation and then switch to targeting you can also add keywords in the product title these three things you can do besides uh, you know if you want it if these things don't work in shopping ads then i would recommend you know trying full build pmax campaign where you can provide audience signals and you can try different things based on different audience signals you can also gather audience insight and based on that you can maneuver things a little bit here and there so unfortunately <laughs> this is what you can do but also try search ads in my opinion not just rely on shopping ads uh, because we have very specific keywords here for bulk cable wholesale i would definitely do search ads for them besides shopping ads and whatever things we discussed or three four things we can do on shopping ads hope this is helpful if this is helpful give me a thumbs up on this video and if you uh, need professional help with google ads uh, you know reach out to us for a free audit uh if you're spending more than $3000 in a month we are happy to uh, you know look into your campaigns and give you some quick wins and that is the way we can demonstrate how we can make difference in your business and help you scale profitably with google ads so here you can go to get the free audit but please note this is only for businesses prospective clients if you are an agency or a freelancer or a specialist and if you want google ads audit consider going to one on one consultation and respect my time <laughs> you know book a consultation call with me i'm happy to help you as well or you can try our co courses and coaching call recordings where you have plenty of resources uh, to learn from go to academy and learn from that cool thank you so much uh, i will see you on the next video